Hi, this is a basic video on initial setup and routine adjustment and maintenance to your 1000 watt Big Toys Go Bow and Go Kart. We'll start by how to charge the vehicle. Simply make sure the charger is plugged into a receptacle. Locate the end that fits in the battery and simply plug it in to the battery box. Next, you'll find that the charger light should be illuminated red. This means the battery is slightly depleted or all depleted and is charging. Once charging is complete, the light will actually turn green. At this point, you can go ahead and use the go-kart. You'll find a cable coming out of the metal box on the back of the go-kart. You'll need to plug this in to the battery box. That way you have power going to your go-kart. Next, you'll want to make sure that the chain on the go-kart stays fairly tensioned, such as on this one. If there's a lot of slack in the chain, adjustment will need to be made. Here in the picture, you'll find four mounting bolts. One here, one here, then in the front, and then in the front. Total of four. You'll need a wrench for the bottom to hold it and on the top. You simply loosen these, but do not remove them. Loosen these, and then you'll use the adjustment bolts found here on each side to very gently move the motor forward to tension the chain. Once you have found that the chain is nice and tensioned, it's going to have a bouncy feeling to it, kind of like a spring. You don't want any slack in it. Then you will go back and retighten the four mounting bolts. Take note, do not tighten the adjustment bolts unless the mounting bolts are completely loose and the motor mount is able to slide, this can cause these bolts to strip out. Remember, loosen the bolts forward and aft first, and then use these to adjust the chain tension, and then retighten the four bolts. This is a fairly simple process. We'll move to the front of the go-kart and go over some other features that you may notice. If your go-kart is lighting up as seen, but the pedal does not function, the first thing you'll want to check is the brake barrel sensor. You will find this sensor that is connected to the brake right here via a spring. If there's too much tension on this and it is out of adjustment, then the go-kart will not function. In other words, this disables the go-kart if it is pulled forward too much. So the idea to properly tension this is to simply loosen the plastic nylon nut and make sure that the sensor is moved forward as much as possible and it's not being pulled out as you can see here. This is good, this is bad and will impede the go-kart from going because the go-kart thinks that the child has the foot on the brake and is actually disabling it. This is a safety feature to keep the motor from overstressing. Again, you'll want to make sure that the nipple on the sensor is inward and not tensioned outwards like so. So we'll go ahead and tighten the lock nut down since this is properly tensioned. As you can see, it's in the inward position when there's no pressure on the brake, so that is good. If you experience steering problems, such as the front wheels skidding and the go-kart going forward, the best way to adjust this is to, to deplete the pressure in the tires. You can simply get a screwdriver or use your fingernail 
as you can see here, to deplete the air pressure in the front tires. What this does is allows for more surface traction on the front tires. You will then want to increase the air pressure in the back tires to where they are very hard. That way they are able to skid a little bit and make turning easier. One of the last things that we'll go over is the front steering alignment. This is simple to adjust via the front tie rods here. Take note that on each side, the thread can be odd and backwards threaded. So be sure to not strip these out. You'll start by loosening the nut on the outside and then the nut on the inside. The entire tie rod barrel then will rotate freely countering the wheels inwards or outwards to your preference. Again, this is a user preference. If the wheels are countered inwards, this can cause the go-kart to be less stable and turn sharply. If the wheels are countered outwards, then this will make the go-kart turn less but be more stable. This can be adjusted by the user to their preference. Remember to do this on both sides. Also, if you find that your go-kart has one wheel which is lifted off of the ground but the other three are touching, please refer back to this being an air pressure issue. Check air pressure in the tire which is not touching the ground. Keep in mind these are a metal toy and all four wheels may not contact the surface due to there is not suspension and on different surfaces the grade may be unlevel. This is a quick overview video of the different features and different things to keep in mind with your Go Bowen 1000 watt go-kart. Thanks for watching.